On this World Homeless Day, a new resource for those experiencing homelessness along the lakeshore, dozens of special coats were donated to the Muskegon Rescue Mission. Thanks to a partnership between the DTE Energy Foundation and the nonprofit that made them, here's 13 on your sides, Charlie Tinker. This is the Swiss Army knife of jackets, morphing from a heavy duty parka into a sleeping bag designed and built to save lives. This allows them, if they need that option, to be able to do that safely. Dan Skoglund is the executive director of Muskegon Rescue Mission, which got 30 of them to give away as the weather turns colder. It gives us a new and different way to be able to care for people in our community that are experiencing homelessness and need to have a warm, safe place. Alyssa Novoselic demonstrates how the coat does its job. From parka to sleeping bag and back again, simply undo the Velcro that gives it its shape and the process is over in mere moments. And just like that, the potentially life-saving gear's origin story is almost as unexpected. It was founded in 2012 by Veronica Scott and was really only meant to be a class project um, coming out of the College for Creative Studies. That semester worth of work 10 years ago became the Empowerment Plan, a Michigan-based nonprofit with an international distribution network. Its website shows the coats have made it as far as Africa, serving families in need worldwide. We are upwards of uh, 70,000 coats that have been distributed. Each of them made by hand at the organization's Detroit production facility using high quality weatherproof fabric by skilled workers, many of whom know what it's like to need one. We take people um, out of shelter and, and offer them an opportunity to learn textile uh, manufacturing, but also provide a lot of wraparound services. The rescue mission says the coats will be given out to those guests with the greatest need, a need that appears to be on the rise. The request for shelter is up over 35% and the request for food is up over 40%. So the need is growing. We're anticipating that's going to continue to grow even higher. In Muskegon, Charlie Tinker, 13 on your side.